For the last two years, I've been proud to work on this issue alongside Representative Craig Gordon from Savannah, who knows firsthand how important having a steady stream of technical college grads is to our economy overall, but particularly in Savannah where we must make sure that we have full employment for our ports. I've also been very happy to have the uh, amazing support from our Democratic caucus leader, Stacey Abrams, and uh, Chairman Emeritus Calvin Smyre, who's actually been working on Access to Hope since the 90s when I was fortunate to be a Hope Scholarship recipient. The Governor and I agree that it's important to keep the GPA requirement for the HOPE scholarship at a 3.0 and that students attending our four-year colleges and universities should meet that 3.0 rigor. But we agree that technical colleges are different and in turn the grant, which is the financial aid that goes to those students, should have a different criteria. And that's why I'm very happy that we will be changing that criteria to a 2.0 so that more students will have access to the HOPE grant and in turn access to higher education. Most of our students in technical colleges our first time college will be first in their family to graduate from college. They come from lower income families. The difference between having the grant and not having the grant is the difference between their ticket to the middle class and not. And so I couldn't be more thrilled to stand here today and to say that this change will happen, that will, I'm looking forward to the short term effect that it will have for students and families and the long term effect that it will have on our economy to ensure that we have a steady stream of, a, of skilled workforce to close the skills gap. Thank you.